right on over. the left-hander, batting at number three. He looked in good form against England. Played a bit of a secondary role to Nathan Astle, but he won't be doing that here today. One of the great things about this game of cricket, it is a tremendous leveller, as Nathan Astle has just found out. It's worth a shout. It's probably going to be a few LBW opportunities here because of this low bounce. Unless he got a nick on that, that looked to be pretty close indeed. Goodness gracious. So if he got a little nick on that, then he might have been okay. If he didn't, he might be very fortunate indeed. Fleming, a lovely off throw for four. Well, Nolan Clark's in there at short cover for Holland. And just for a second, I thought he was probably thought he was in business here because he did play it in the air Fleming wasn't quite to it and did lift it sh slightly a hand went out from Clark just briefly and then I think he thought better of it it was he goes over the top that's a big hit one bounce four more really are on the attack now the New Zealand batsman I think the problem for the Dutch side here is the sameness about the bowling attack I think once you get in and you're confident about the pace of the pitch, you can start to use your feet with confidence. And Fleming, well, he's pulled that from outside the off stump. And one bounce four. Slow delivery. He's got it away again, back with a point. This should go to the fence as well. Well, that's a terrific over for New Zealand. 83 for one. it long on Baz Zyderand again and that's two catches for the young man what a terrific uh, debut this has been for young Baz Zyderand yeah he's really doing well at the moment he needs this uh, little uh, confidence for him Now there's a second wicket for Stephen Lovers, and uh, it's very good for him. He, he bowls very well. New Zealand, 155 for three.